This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Straight home now. To make it out alive. Really? It's as bad as that. Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome-looking fellow? Oh, no doubt. Well met, friend. My brother and I have... How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but... My brother's right on all accounts. We may have seen our share of action, true, but... You, however, have the look of a man who... Chances are, they'll come for you either way. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway... You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're well, lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our... All right. Nope, nope. Uh, you, you just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. I'm not sure I trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. <laughs> Look lively, you lot! Not guests! Must be our bandits. them dealt with. Now, where's that cart? <sighs> Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job. Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong. You've done your part. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? would have eaten a lot by now. But we won't be going hungry, that's for sure. You've had your reward and you're not getting any more. Now piss off.
I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. So this is Zemeckis. The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in bearers. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <sighs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. See the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. How is he to rule an empire? 
He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule it. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieka made flesh. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. Silence! Insolent wretch! You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> hmm. Count your blessings, Dion. For a base-born child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? Markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast.
Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinsight. His troops are well-trained and increasingly battle-hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. for the crystalline dominion because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing <sighs> there are no crystals here yeah. this is where we're supposed to meet goots isn't it that's right he said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies I dare say he'll have finished by now. Order for hire! Best service! Let me carry your goods! I'm cheap! Peaches and pears! Wonders from across the water! Come one, come all! Feast your eyes! Good sir, can I interest you in... How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. But you're more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. But can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go in and find good, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. Come taste my peaches! They're sweet as nectar! I'll take the large one. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. There you are. Clive, I, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's me trader's pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in me pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Here. Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sound's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. Next to the check. Out of my sight, wretch! What are you looking for? May Gilbert smile upon you.
fine choice. You've a discerning eye. A fine choice. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Wait! Don't go, El! He's been made! As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. Honestly, ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little ban could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Ben, we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion Goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um... Yeah, but I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood.
Out of my sight, wretch. Come on, come on. Jug of snake spit for the road. The caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and are we collared you too, eh? She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. For one, that they're targeting the trade harder to watch your back, see? Unless not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. Thank you. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Fish for sale! Can I interest you? She's asked me to help her. Is that so? Suppose, for one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children, street urchins, by the sound of it, orphans from the. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get... No, uh, you get it. So if they come calling, you know. Excuse me. Can't stop you. I was just wondering if any... Anything you've grown up so... So guess what I'm about to tell you? Sorry. Mom, taste my peaches! You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will be different there. Stops next to the check. <sighs> what do you want? It's all right. We're not going to. Well, we've heard that some very bad. We need to know who's behind it. I don't know much about it, really. He said he got a job. Sounds promising. We need to find him. Do you know where your friend? He's usually by the tent. Up. Thank you. Still nearby. Daddy, I'm hungry. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these. Charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter! Where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. See a boy run past. There was a boy ran back there towards the. Thank you. Oh, shit! Cornered. 
It's all right, Hunter. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. I'm like... I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Call themselves the Car Stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but, but it doesn't come for free. It didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone... Hansa. You found him, then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> you I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the car stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them, anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Cowards! You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not... Don't hurt him! You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? Uh, Master Theo. <laughs> Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Boklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any... But it seems they've already stooped even low. Hans is a good lad. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor son. Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help put an end to the... Then we all want the same thing. So, what else? We fight. You get your traders passed back, and I may. All right then. All right then. Honza, where are they camped? Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft then. Laney's cleft is to the south, past the camp. No, you better not have scared him. Daddy! There are no crystals here! in our business. You should have minded your own.
doubt these were the ringleaders. But at least we know we're on the right track. Today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are... Especially the little ones. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy. I wasn't planning on showing them any... We're ready when you are, Thip. Oh, I'm ready. Fuck! It's that guard from Bokman! Kill him! Kill them all! Too slow. And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return it. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we? Of course. Oh, and uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't we? We'll be glad to. Quite the opposite. So it was the cast stone, and their demise solves through. I only hope yours is among the. Speaking of whom. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. 
goods is pass. I will. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the... Can I count on your help in... Of course. I expect you'll soon be on your way then, would it now? Don't look so shocked. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we, for a small fee, we will move anything that goods to market. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand. And who better to join forces, wouldn't you agree? I would. It seems our purpose is the... So what would you say to working to... It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. What is it? El has friends in high places while I have associates in... I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a... Goots's pass should secure you a... Will... On to the Dominion. news good actually some only trouble is the serving girl still new to the job what exactly are you celebrating i've come by a particularly fine gotan rouge is this? so i've heard oh a uh, gentleman whom would you pass the good news sounds simple so you'll do it you won't need to go far all free is oldrich the porter free of the finest stop by again when you i'll be right back I see you've been of some assistance. Perhaps. Finding someone. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine. Now Joseph's a cells. Any idea where his search for the... The old... Joseph's lived a hard life. I can't imagine there are too many... Notched steel. Might you be convinced to offer me the How exactly do you intend? Well, being something and I require a rugged should you accept, you will not only earn yourself well, or you My arms are yours. Wonderful! But where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis Road. Quickly! There... Wait. <sighs> Good luck with your ne'er do wells. I'd better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Me carry your goods. I'm cheap. Peaches and pears. Come on, come on. Caravan stops next to the checkpoint. 
Be you Milan? That's me. The innkeepers. You thought you might. <laughs> Why can't we get my? You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. I'm looking for Bolak. Well, you found him. The innkeeper sent me. I've never said you must be a busy. The market will be. Oh, my heart. Plenty try when they do. You know what? Well done. I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. Spoke to your friends. That's fat has been a what and what and what? Just information. Now you... Which way did he go? I buggered off down the road. I... We don't want any. Neither do we. Well, we have. Yes, we have. Those one. Maybe he found his thief. Mum won't. Shush, now. I only told. I'd listen to your mother if. <laughs> Did Joseph's thieves really lug their stolen wares all the way out here? I think we found our thieves. They don't look happy to see me. Ah! <laughs> 
Let's get this over with. Stop! Don't kill him, he's just protecting his home. Joseph? I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem... I take it things are more complicated than they appear. I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon I launched myself at them full of righteous fury. The others, they huddled around that food. They stole because it was that or starvation. So you spared them? and earn their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands. And once they've learned to hunt and forage... I'm impressed. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back. Oh, and... don't mention the goblins. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. I thought of goblins as mindless savages, but if I'm honest, I like them better than half the men I've served with.
Still in one piece? It would seem so. And once more, you impress me. Though Moss the Chronic, he offers little in the way of could the construction of such, alas. Or Not if you keep running head first. You are right, of course. Glad to help, but. I fear I may have rather over, you see, even and so I can. That's what this was all about. I am afraid, sir. Fine. And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward. Let me carry your goods. Joseph's fine. <sighs> He's certainly... A good thing. Peaches and pears. Come on, come on. Caravan stops Juicy next. Pears. What I really want to be. Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass? Oh, I'll have to say thanks to Ellen. So should you. You were no friend. We do. And we already. It's hard work. <laughs> Thank you. Stab! You said you trick. Well, I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs> All right. We have a place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defenses. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. I see. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima? I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sandbrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. 
But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmekian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. Do you know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. Fork-tongued witch! <laughs> In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Phallisthea bows to its rightful ruler. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. Such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more.
Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the Empire restored.